YouTube. Today I wanted to bring you a review of the uh, Mace Windu Jedi Starfighter slash Interceptor, as some may know it, from uh, the Saga Collection and 30th Anniversary Collection. Those are both releases. And uh, this is based on the Clone Wars Micro Series, but on the box it said Revenge of the Sith, but as we all know, it's never seen in Revenge of the Sith, and was destroyed in the Clone Wars series. So. Suck it, Hasbro. Uh, this one's really cool compared to the other ones that came out. This is using the original old sculpt rather than the new scaled down and more screen accurate versions. Uh, this is probably one of the best ones out of those old ones. Uh, you can see it's got obviously the gray base and all the different sculpting work into the side panels and everything. And then uh, what makes it special, obviously, the mission window is the purple colors. You know, but uh, beyond the purple colors is these uh, more shiny reflective purples that flash out. So that's really cool. That was something that really caught my eye when I bought it the other day. And uh, definitely awesome. You can see all around there's a bunch of weathering. You can see all the different blast marks and everything. Which are awesome. And on the bottom, it's not much like that. But you can see the purples, the shininess, and you can see a little bit of... Uh, wearing on the edges here with all the gray and paint chipped off. The back you can see the engine sculpted in. That's a softer plastic. And there's that button on the back where you can pop the wings open, which is really, really cool. And you can see it in its more open form. You know, just set it up here. So, if I can just... so that's really cool. Uh, another thing that it has is these uh, buttons in the back. Screw that. There's these buttons, and you see here, press the button, and the missile over here goes flying out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it does feature little things here that are uh, peg holes. And uh, the buzz droids from the, what was it, droid tri-fighter from Revenge of the Sith line. Those have pegs and they can plug into the wings here, or the wing areas here. So that's pretty cool, that's a good feature. Uh, the R2 unit, well he's stuck in there. But he is usually removable. See he's purple and everything. And then the cockpit can be opened up. I suppose that's not supposed to happen. And you can see in there, and you can see all the really nice sculpting work. Can you? Yeah. And you can see it's got the gold seat in there. And, you know, what's not to love? So this is a pretty cool starfighter. If you army build for Jedi, it'd definitely be cool to have. And it's definitely a uh, cool, cool standalone ship. So, until next time, hope you enjoyed the review. May the force be with you.